Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. It's November 10, 2023, and the Illinois rodeo season has ended on a high note. Yesterday, the Will County Sheriff's Department announced the arrest of 26-year-old Ezekiel Herrera, who has been charged with two counts of animal cruelty for shocking steers in the head and face at a rodeo on October 1st of this year. Herrera's first court appearance is scheduled for December 15th. Another rodeo participant, 23-year-old Cristobal Dorado, is already awaiting trial for beating horses at a different rodeo in Will County last July. Both Herrera and Dorado were caught by shark drones. You may recall that Will County State's Attorney Jim Glasgow has also obtained two temporary restraining orders against two different rodeo properties, and Mr. Glasgow is reportedly working on a proposal for a state law regulating rodeos. Shark is also working with other counties on the rodeo issue, and we believe there will be progress to report soon, with one very notable exception, Boone County, Illinois. We've been working in Boone County longer than any other county in the state, and yet we have far less to show for it. There's something very, very wrong in Boone County. The place reeks of corruption. We've identified three board members who will support these cruel rodeos no matter how much evidence we pile up. Even more disturbing, Boone County State's Attorney Tricia Smith and Assistant State's Attorney Carla Mayville are doing everything possible to protect the rodeos instead of taking action against them. This includes ignoring state law and dumbing down a local ordinance that should have curbed the abuse. I've seen a lot of strange things in my more than three decades of animal protection, but I have never seen anything quite like this. Our documentation is clear and overwhelming for every single location that is putting on these cruel and illegal rodeos in Boone County. Nevertheless, we have the supposed leaders of the county fighting us tooth and nail. We gave the police and state's attorney an enormous amount of drone footage that would literally lead to hundreds of charges against rodeo participants if law enforcement was on the up and up. So far, there is literally nothing to show for two seasons of evidence in Boone County, which has asserted itself as the cruelty and corruption capital of Illinois. There needs to be a full criminal investigation into what is going on in Boone County. In closing, I should mention that the county-by-county -county fight against rodeo would be unnecessary if Illinois had an honest governor, but we don't. Billionaire J.B. Pritzker bought his way into politics, and it's clear that he couldn't care less about actually doing his job. The man wants more power to try to fill the enormous hole where his soul should be, and he isn't smart enough to figure out that more power won't fill it. The Illinois Department of Agriculture has always been a sewer of political patronage, but it has hit a new low under Pritzker, and it is unfortunately the Department of Agriculture that is supposed to administer the Illinois Humane Care for Animals Act. So be it. Don't worry, Governor Pritzker. Shark will do the job better than your grifter buddies ever would anyway. As for Boone County, We'll spend the entire off-season exposing your cruelty and corruption, and our drones will be ready and waiting for the summer of 2024. Take that to the bank. I'm Steve Hendy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. Consider sharing our videos so other people can help save lives. If you'd like to support Shark directly, you can follow the donation link in the description section of this video. If you'd like to gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.